what is the equipment and the procedure we use just i'll take you through this video so we have a hysteroscope and in the hysteroscope is everything okay do we have the scope we introduce it into a sheath the sheath can be either a diagnostic sheath or an operative sheath which has a channel for an operative instrument the same instrument has everything it has the camera head it has the light source is ha it has the fluid channel the fluid channel can be can be an input channel inflow channel and an outflow channel okay so just let's see the video so that's the scope in my hand okay and i in the other hand i'm holding the sheath so i'm introducing the scope inside the sheet this is an operative hysteroscope which i am assembling okay so that's the scope in the sheath okay that's the inner sheath and now this is the outer sheath so you have a sheath through which the scope is put now you can attach the camera head there the light source inflow and outflow tracks which i am showing okay which distend the uterus with fluid media okay and we also have a area for the operative instrument through which we can put uh, an operative grasper or a scissors we can introduce in the operative sheath as i am just showing you right now so everything is in one system it's not like a laparoscopy where you have multiple channels here we have only one entry point that is the cervix and everything has to go through that so that's the instrument that's a scissors so you can see the scissors coming out at the end so everything is in one instrument it's a scope it's there there's a sheath there's a camera head, there's a light source, there's an inflow through which the fluid is coming, there's an outflow through which the fluid is going and there's an instrument channel through which my instrument is also being in the same thing. So everything is together. Now I'm going to show you some clips, some video clips of different, different operative diagnostic and operative hysteroscopies. Now this one is just a simple hysteroscopy of a normal looking uterus. Okay, so let's have a look here. You can see I'm entering this fluid inside which is distending the cavity. This is a normal cavity. Can you see going inside and I'm reaching the fundus. Okay, the top where you can see now I'm at the fundus. And if you see on both sides laterally, I'll be showing you, you can see the ostea through which the tubes originate. That's the tubal ostea of one side. That's the tubal ostea of the other side. All right. And that is a normal cavity. You can see little bit air bubbles, okay, which have entered. But this is a normal looking uterine cavity on a hysteroscopy. Okay, so that's how a normal hysteroscopy looks like. Mm -hmm.